33-year-old Joshua Moser is behind bars for killing and dismembering his roommate, and then dumping his remains in three separate locations. On the afternoon of Monday the 13th of May, Pennsylvania State Police received a missing person report that 37-year-old David Hittinger had not been heard from or seen since the evening of Saturday the 11th of May. The person who reported David missing had planned to meet him for his own birthday celebration and grew concerned after not hearing from him. Authorities learned that David lived in Joshua's home at 699 West Franklin Street in Sladington, Pennsylvania, and that Joshua had recently allowed him to move in with him. On Tuesday the 14th of May, police executed a search warrant at Joshua's home and found blood in the basement. Authorities said it appeared that the basement had been hastily staged to conceal the blood. On Wednesday the 15th of May, they returned to the home and found additional evidence, including a saw, box cutter, bloody clothing and hair. That same day, Joshua was taken into custody in Monroe County for an unrelated incident, which resulted in a parole violation. During the interview with investigators, he admitted to strangling David and hitting him over the head with a hammer in the basement at his home. Joshua said that he then dismembered David and discarded his body parts in three different locations in Sladington and Washington Township. Later that day, authorities discovered David's dismembered body parts inside garbage bags at the Fairfield Cemetery in Sladington, and the following day additional body parts were found in an area of DNL trail in Slatington and a small quarry behind the Northern Lehigh High School in Washington Township in Lehigh County. Investigators identified David as the victim through a fingerprint on a dismembered hand. Officials did not reveal a possible motive behind the murder, but Lehigh County District Attorney Gavin Hollihan said there appeared to be some kind of disagreement prior to the killing. He also said that at this point the investigation suggests that Joshua acted alone and there does not appear to be any threat to the public. A neighbor Cadence Waterhouse said she heard yelling coming from the house. It was Josh. He was saying, get the fuck out of here. You don't belong here. But I didn't hear anyone talking back to him. She said she saw David last week when she returned his dog to him. He was very shy, she said. He said, yeah, that's my dog. Sorry, he was wandering. Joshua is charged with criminal homicide, abuse of a corpse and tampering with physical evidence. He's been detained without bail at the Monroe County Jail and will be transported to Lehigh County later this month. His preliminary hearing is scheduled for the 29th of May. The Lehigh County Coroner said that while the manner of death is homicide, the cause of death has not been officially determined. Josh was previously convicted of a February 2016 fatal DUI crash that killed 24-year-old Nicole Gruber. The investigation into the matter continues. A couple of behind bars and are accused of killing a 54-year-old man and leaving his body underneath his own home. On Wednesday the 8th of May, authorities responded to a residence at 1366 Co. Derry Road in Dotham, Alabama to perform a welfare check on Patrick Parrish after an unusual amount of time passed with no contact from the man. When officers arrived, they noticed the foul odour coming from the home. Officers knocked on the door but no one answered. A short time later, they found Patrick's deceased body underneath the house. Police said the positioning of the body was indicative of foul play. The Alabama Department of Forensic Science in Montgomery will determine how Patrick died, but his death has been ruled a homicide. Police learned that 33-year-old Richard Bishop Jr. and 33-year-old Courtney Ingram were the last people to see Patrick alive. They were both seen leaving in the victim's truck, which was missing from Patrick's home. Investigators found the vehicle days later in Eufaula, Alabama. Detectives gathered enough evidence to issue an arrest warrant for Richard and Courtney for Patrick's homicide. The Eufaula Police Department, with the help of a Baldwin County Sheriff's Office deputy, found Richard and Courtney in Eufaula and turned them over to Dothan Police on the night of Saturday the 18th of May. The couple were then booked into the Houston County Jail each on one charge of murder and are held without bond. The motive of the killing is unclear as the investigation into the matter continues. A man has been arrested after his newly abducted dog was found decapitated at a park near his home. At around 6.45pm on Tuesday the 14th of May, authorities responded to the area of East Beach at Ford DeSoto Park in St. Petersburg, Florida, on reports of a deceased dog wrapped in a plastic bag. When deputies arrived, they located a male dog with its head decapitated, floating in the mangroves. Pinellas County Animal Services scanned the dog for a microchip, identifying the dog as a four-year-old bulldog mix named Dexter. Deputies learned that the suspect, 
66-year-old Domingo Rodriguez adopted Dexter from Pinellas County Animal Shelter four days earlier. Later that night, deputies spoke with Domingo at his residence at 336766th Way North in St. Petersburg. We admitted to adopting Dexter and told them that the dog must have run away overnight on the 10th of May. Domingo admitted to travelling to Fort DeSoto Park on the 11th of May and provided deputies with several inconsistent statements. Domingo's wife told police that she woke up on the 11th of May to find both her husband and her dog were gone. Police also noted that the bags resembling the ones at the crime scene were in the home. In the early morning hours of Wednesday the 15th of May, Domingo was booked into the Pinellas County Jail on charges of animal cruelty and disposal of bodies of dead animals. He was released the same day on a $5,000 bond. The investigation into the matter continues.